so hi dear all this is Anjali Taro and I just rubbed my whole nail paint on my face and I'm just scratching my face like crazy see I don't know how to like uh, apply a nail paint even if you're wondering <laughs> why am I doing not makeup why I never do makeup because of this I don't know how to do it no normally like like normal people so <laughs> it's fine I'm good like this anyway so Today we guys are going to do the reading for singles for the rest of the month of October 2024. I might repeat the reading uh, in the mid of October again uh, for fresh energies but as of now it's for October from today till the 31st of October. Somebody was telling me that there is no 31st September. I might have said it uh, wrongly. So I like people who just uh, find mistakes on in me and they don't understand that I'm a human not a robot so sometimes it happens. So yeah. But I'm definitely sure that 31st October exists, right? Does, right? It does, right? <laughs> tell me it does. <laughs> oh, God, don't tell me it doesn't exist. Oh, shit. Or it doesn't. Or it does. 30th of November, 31st of December. Yeah, it does, right? Fuck it. <laughs> so, anyways, this is a reading for uh, singles. And I'm going to tap into your energies for new love and then if somebody from your past is coming back around or from some or something from your past is coming back and the guidance as usual. Okay, honey. Now, for those of you who want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. Okay, it's in simple plain English. Very simple, very uh, uh, good, like uh, easy to understand. 69, 69 lectures and it... Uh, if you're going to practice is a practice according to whatever I have told you, you will definitely be a good tarot card reader in one or two months. Practice it practice like uh, it requires a lot of practice though, right? Practice is the main key, not the uh, lectures or not the suit or not the material. Practice, 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 practice till you get it. Okay, I practiced for one year before I started doing professionally. Um, now, if you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono, Ho'oponopono is a healing modality. It's a healing modality, modality that uh, causes, a, that uh, heals the problem from the root. Takes time, but it's something amazing. I'm practicing it from last uh, uh, four years, but uh, from last two years, I'm practi practicing it like I'm breathing. Okay. And it has changed my life for, for the best, you know. I'm going to do a full-fledged reading, but for the time being, you can go to my channel Heal with Anju and you are going to find a lot of uh, uh, videos about my journey uh, while doing Ho'oponopono. So there's a master class that can help you to understand how to heal each and every, uh, each and every area of your life uh, with Ho'oponopono. I'm soon going to start a diploma in a certificate course in Inner Child Healing with Ho'oponopono. So whosoever is going to be guided towards me, they will, they can join me. It's going to be a little bit costly because it's going to be a four month journey. So I will help you to heal every area of your life. And then you uh, you can be a certified healer as well. And then you can heal others as well. Okay. Anyways, so now if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. As of now till the 8th of, uh, 8th of October, I'm not... Uh, available for emergency readings or like one-on-one uh, -on -one he like healings or one-on-one -on -one personal readings video calls so i can do the readings after 8th only so you can do keep this in mind and then you can connect with me now we are good to go so this is a reading for singles only for whatever reason if you're divorced or separated and or single you can consider yourself single as a uh, single as well a uh, single if you are divorced or separated meaning if you are not connected to anybody uh, uh, like uh, on emotional and physical level then you can consider yourself single even if you are married doesn't matter if you feel like you're single then you're single you, it should be like uh, from your side that kind of energy should come i am just quite <laughs> stressed out about those like scra like scratches and these marks i don't like them nobody likes it actually but it's fine at this age it's fine <laughs> nobody cares okay now let's start with aries let's see aries what is coming towards you for aries we have I'm going to write the timestamps before a lot of people because a lot of people get irritated because they don't want to do the needful hmm. 40. So Aries, let's see what's coming towards you in love till the end of October 2024. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. For new love, we have the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles, the Tower. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. 
So this is someone who is silent uh, right now at this present moment. This is a new love reading. For uh, So there is somebody around you who is silent right now at this present moment. This is a new person, new energy. Or it could be a friend, uh, it could be a friend around you who is silent right now. But this person is going to suddenly out of the blue break their silence when you will be least expecting it. Like when you will be least expecting love to arrive in your life, then this person is going to come in your life. Uh, basically, I do see it towards the 16th, 9th to the 16th of October is a very good time for period for you to attract new love towards you. Okay. And this new love is going to be somebody who is going to be quite creative, quite feminine, quite sensitive, and they got their shit together. This is not somebody who is like all over the place and they don't know what they want and they don't know how to behave. This is somebody who is like a, a positive vibes, sensitive person, creative, and this they see growth and expansion and happiness in people and things and situations. And they are somebody who is going to break their silence out of nowhere. And they will start putting in the effort and energy in this direction towards you. Now, for those of you who are waiting for a specific person to reconnect or connect or... Uh, yeah, maybe past person, past energy, or no contact person or something like that. Let's see. For the past person, we have the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. It's over. It's over. So from the past person's side, I do see this person seeing this opportunity of moving on to uh, from this situation towards something better or someone better. This person is not able to see any kind of growth and expansion in the situation between you and them. So they are choosing to walk away from the situation for good this time and work on themselves and take care of themselves as much as they can. So this person is not putting in the effort and energy. I don't see somebody from your past coming towards you, especially the person that you are stuck on. So it's it's like better to just move on. The guidance is also like, okay, you have to start uh, moving on towards uh, new people, new situation, new connections and give opportunity to new energies instead of waiting for someone specific to come back around and make you happy okay because new energies are around the corner and you can definitely uh, find happiness in new people new energies as well all you have to do is give them a chance give them a shot honey okay so this is what we have for aries let's see for taurus taurus so um i will be in osho mehsana taurus 740 So I will be in Osho Mehsana from tomorrow onwards. This is 1st of October. I'm making this reading today. So uh, I will not be able to connect with you guys or live from there. I don't do anything. Don't do it anyway. But I will not be able to connect and read your messages or comments as well. Let's see for Taurus. For new love. What's coming towards you till the end of this month. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. We have the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. Someone is in love with you. Wow. <laughs> Someone is kind of trying to hide their passion from you, hide their uh, attraction towards you, from you. And they are going to hold on to this energy of no, not right now. I, I can't go towards Taurus in this kind of on and off, in and out or unstable, unstable kind of energy. So it could be an on and off, in and out kind of a person like uh, in your life. Whom you already know, but this is this, but you guys were not in a relationship at all. Yeah. So it could be a friend, it could be a known person, it could be somebody around you who who started liking you, but they are going to keep their attraction, keep their energies to themselves. I don't see them opening up to you. So yeah, there is a energy around you who likes you more than you even you can even think about, but they are going to not they are going to choose not to express it to you. So basically, I don't see anybody new entering in your life because they are refusing to open up to you. Although this person's energies and attraction towards you, towards you is increasing to the level of being in love with you at some point of time. But they are refusing to express it to you. Maybe they don't want to express it till they are sure or till they feel like they should tell you. Okay. Let's see for those of you who are stuck on past person, past energy to come back around. What are their energies for till the end of October 2024? Page of Cups, Justice, Hierophant, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. Somebody from your past is coming back around for uh, towards you. Taurus, this is your card only. It could be a Libra, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or another, uh, another Taurus. Could be, okay, not, uh, not mandatory. This is somebody from your past who will come towards you to like uh, balance things out with you. They will apologize to you, message communication apology and uh, this person will offer you commitment. There are very good chances that somebody from your past is going to offer you commitment. 
and this person is somebody who can't stop thinking negative about the situation they are in their head about things but by the end of this year especially by the end of this month right by the end of this month i do see somebody uh, coming towards you and trying to offer you commitment trying to offer you a communication apology and commitment if you are going to take it or not that's completely up to you but there are chances of somebody from your past coming back to you and trying to make things work out between you and them and offering you commitment okay the guidance for you guys is the tower okay so whatever fell apart let it fell apart let it fall apart because it was uh, meant to happen like this only something that was not working out was actually helping you to go to the next level of your love and relationship area and actually this is this was this was uh, this happened because uh, for your for your highest good so whatever happened take it as uh, whatever happened was happening for your highest good and now the universe is going to bring the best for you uh, if you are ready to bring the best out of yourself hmm? because the vibrations you are going to vibrate on that's going to attract the kind of personality or the person that you deserve okay moving on to gemini we have 1115 yeah so okay let's see for gemini sun moon venus rising what's coming towards you guys and your love and relationship area for gemini singles till the end of october in case of new love if somebody new is entering in your life or coming in your life justice seven of swords a page of cups bottom of the deck is the knight of wands so yeah there are very good chances that somebody new is going to enter in your life but beware of this person already having a lover or a connection or somebody else by their side and they are going to lie to you maybe this person is going to lie to you that they don't have anybody by their side and they don't have anybody in their life apart from you they love you they want to be with you they want to settle down with you see it's like uh, somebody new is entering in your life and they are going to offer you uh, emotions they are going to offer you love but in between there is something that you need to be aware of hmm? so again it could be possible that they are already married already committed or already with somebody but they are like connecting with you as well and or uh, they might be in this energy if they don't know totally about you but they are going to fall in love with you and they are going to tell you this that even they don't know everything about you they still want to be with you it's like uh, somebody is going to be highly highly attracted to you it could be a physical intimacy kind of a deal where this connection is going to start with physical intimacy and it's going to turn into some kind of relationship very quickly very fastly but something in this connection is not right and you're going to feel it intuitively so think about it uh, about this before jumping into any kind of decision or conclusion in this situation let's see for those of you who are stuck on a particular past person or situation what is happening with the past person or past situation if you're stuck on that yeah so the past person past energy is super confused first of all this person is having other options too that i can see this person is not able to see the clear picture of the future between you and them so that is why this person is refusing to come back towards you because they are not in they are not able to understand whether this situation between you and them is ever going to work out or not or this situation between you and them is uh, going to have a uh, uh, like a family uh, happily ever after kind of deal or not in this uh, in this lifetime so the past person past energy is although they are thinking about you from time to time they are not sure whether to whether to connect with you or not so i do see them not connecting with you as of now although they see they feel from time to time to come back around but they are not doing it anyway yeah the guidance here is the seven of cups don't get confused when it comes to love and relationship area if something or someone is confusing the hell out of you every time you think about them then that person or that situation is not right for you let me repeat it again for you if something or someone is confusing the hell out of you every time you think about them then that person or that situation is not right for you okay period good to go i got i think you got the message very loud and clear here honey gemini let's uh, move on to okay let me write about cancer i have to be very patient today for cancer we have uh, 1420 okay so let's see cancer sun moon venus rising what's coming towards you in love till the end of this month october 2024 new love okay your energies for new love for cancer people for october 2024 we have the 7 of pentacles the 9 of cups the 6 of cups bottom of the deck is the 10 of wands so honey this is somebody who is uh, in your energies around your energies but this is someone who is still stuck on the past 
so this new person this new energy that you are going that you are going to connect with they are going to still stuck on past or they are still freshly st still coming out of a breakup or separation but they still see themselves with the past person past energy not with you although this person is going to feel happy with you they are going to feel like okay you can be their wish fulfillment you can be somebody who can uh, who they can rely on in their love and relationship area but at the same time this is somebody who is going to be so stuck on their past that they, they will not be able to give you the full uh, uh, what we call, what we say full attention or full relationship or full full fledged kind of connection between you and them so either you are going to drop it or finally they are going to drop it so even if this person is coming towards you uh, I don't see this person see you as a rebound. This person sees you as ha having a potential, but at the same time, they're stuck on their past too bad, too, uh, what should I say? They're stuck on uh, the, their past too severely that they will not be able to give you a good relationship. Yeah. Let's see for those of you who are stuck on their past or past person or past energy. Let's see what are the, what are the energies for them? Oh God, we have the eight of wands, the ten of swords, a star card. So from the past, you will be healing only. I don't see a past person, past energy coming back to you because they think even if they are going to try to connect with you, there's nothing left in the situation. It's going to end up in disaster only. So according to them, moving on from the situation and healing themselves and giving you the time and space to heal yourself is the good thing to do, is the right thing to do. And they're going to follow that path only as of now till the end of October 2024. So from time to time this past person is going to have this urge or this desire to connect with you but at the same time they are going to feel like even if they are going to connect there's nothing good coming out of the situation so it's better to stay away from you stay away stay away from the situation and heal themselves and let you heal okay so i don't see them coming towards you instead they are making a way uh, out of the situation the guidance for you guys is nine of swords see uh, cancer you can't uh, control each and everything in your life you can't control other people other situation other connections other other pe person's feelings or your situation all the time so it's the universe's job right so instead of worrying too much about something some people situations things or connections or whatever you are uh, worried about try to um, spend your energy and time more on forgiveness gratitude and faith have faith the universe got your back the universe is going to give you the best but have faith and try not to get too much in this energy of I want to control each and everything in my life because this is just ego okay because you can't okay now we have to move on to Leo Leo 1754 yeah okay let's see Leo Sun Moon Venus rising what is coming towards you in love for Leo singles till the end of October 2024 let's see what's coming towards you honey We have the page of cups, the nine of wands, the ten of pentacles in reverse, bottom of the deck is the four of cups. This is somebody who is coming towards you with full-fledged, passionate kind of energy. I love you, Leo. I want to be with you. I want to uh, have a lot of uh, fun with you. I want to go on dates with you. I want to see this with you. I want to see that with you. But this person is going to either be a commitment phobic or they are going to tell you very, very honestly and openly that they will not be able to get married to you whatsoever or they will not be able to see a... Uh, a uh, long-term future with you for whatever reason i don't think they are going to give you a valid reason but this person is definitely going to make sure that you know that you guys are not in the situation for the long term this is for the time being or maybe they have this plan of uh, firstly watching things where things can go in this connection and then want to commit to you at some point of time but as of now this person doesn't have this energy of committing to you or giving you a solid committed kind of a relationship on the table instead this person is uh, having this energy of okay uh, maybe we will think about it in the future but as of now I am really attracted to you and attracted to the idea of being with you so let me be with you that kind of energy very passionate energy very fun loving energy very much in this uh, living in the moment kind of energy and uh, it's like uh, they have other options too but this person is kind of stuck on you because you are the best one out of those options okay <laughs> so new person new energy is definitely around the corner but they might not be able to give you the sense of stability or commitment that you're looking forward to have. So it's completely your choice now. Okay, let's see for those of you who still are stuck on a past person or past energy to come back around. What are the energies for you?
we have the page of pentacles the temperance the page of swords bottom of the deck is okay no bottom of the deck actually for this one so the thing is that yeah somebody from your past will try to come back around as a friend this is like a, a lover to, a lover turning into a friend and they want to come towards you you can expect some kind of on and off communication with somebody from your past and this person is patiently waiting for the time when things are uh, things will be able to move forward in this direction but at the same time this person have this tendency to vanish from time to time it's like somebody coming to you telling you that they want to be friends with you and they want to start from friendship kind of a deal and they want to see where things can go in the future very patiently they want to put in the effort and energy in the situation but at the same time they have the tendency to tendency to vanish like okay today they are saying okay let's uh, talk about it let's do this let's do that and when the timing is going to come to like uh, uh, implement that plan they are going to be like okay i have some work some other work i have to do this i have to do that so they are keeping themselves at a distance from you because this person is not thousand percent sure or hundred percent sure about uh, the future direction of the situation so they do want it but at the same time they don't want it like maybe right now or they don't want it too fast hmm? okay the guidance here is the hanged man try to see things from a totally different perspective on uh, leo and try to understand what lessons and blessings you got from the previous experiences in your love and relationship area and accordingly take your decisions okay accordingly take make wise choices in this direction because otherwise you might end up having a disaster kind of a relationship again if you're not going to uh, apply those uh, lessons and blessings in the coming future in the new in the new connection or even if the past person is coming back take it how it resonates with you but you need to see things from a totally fresh perspective from a totally different angle and at the same time you have to implement all the lessons and the blessings that you have got till this time in your love and relationship area area then you will be then only you will be able to move forward that, with that kind of uh, energy of okay everything is right i'm doing i'm on the right path i'm on the right track kind of a deal hmm? yep okay honey let's move on to virgo let me write down the time stamp for virgo virgo we have 22 20. okay so let's see virgo what's coming towards you in your love and relationship area till the month of till the end of october 2024 virgo what is coming towards you in your love and relationship area virgo singles in the end of october 2024 queen of, king knight of pentacles queen of swords the five of pentacles bottom of the deck is a hanged man so your love life is going to be quite slow quite slow quite stuck quite this energy of yeah everything is happening but it's so slow that uh, i feel like nothing is happening it's like there is a person around you there's energy around you who is freshly coming out of a breakup or separation or major major losses in their life in some way so this person is going to be around you they are going to show interest in you they are going to tell you that they feel like having a like connection with you feel like having a, a beautiful relationship with you but they are right now stuck on something that they are dealing with on a personal level so they might not be able to connect with you on that level as of now but this is somebody who's going to make sure that you know why they are not able to connect with you on that level as of now and what is stopping them from coming towards you in that way right yeah so things are going to feel like uh, things are stuck in your love and relationship area even if you, there's somebody around you things are not moving in that much uh, like fast pace or things are quite slow so you might uh, get a little bit frustrated with new person new energy hmm? for those of you who are waiting for a past person past energy to come back around or to have a reconciliation kind of a deal let's see for those of you we have the ace of wands the hierophant the ten of wands bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles see what is happening here honey i do see a start i do see a brand new beginning with somebody that you had a connection at some point of time you guys were committed to each other and or you guys were married to each other and because of some issues you guys dropped this connection um and now somebody is coming towards you for a fresh beginning but a fresh uh, new start but what is happening here virgo let me tell you very very honestly it's going to be a false start it's like uh, the uh, the quicker you guys are going to connect with each other the quicker this uh, this situation is going to fall apart again so it's basically taking things really very very slow to the level of taking things one day at a time and understanding that this, that the situation requires a lot of patience a lot of understanding a lot of time in order for the situation to move forward 
in a peaceful direction in a, a fruitful direction okay so this is a guidance as well and this is a warning as warning as well so there are chances of having uh, somebody by your side having somebody from your past back in your life but at the same time this might end up in uh, a disaster again if you guys are not going to be uh, patient enough or understanding enough that this re this situation requires a lot of understanding patience and time in order for the situation to work out okay the guidance here is page of pentacles start with the friendship kind of level and be friends with each other at least for a month or so and then understand where things can go in a particular situation then make your uh, make up your mind and make up your choices and accordingly take your decisions then it's going to be you know fruitful for you yeah especially for the past person yeah okay now let's move on to we have libra let's move on to libra it's like 2550 okay libra let's see for libra sun moon venus rising what is coming towards you in love and relationship area till the month till the end of october 2024 let's see for libra sun moon venus rising what's coming towards you till the end of october 2024 and now a new love okay for new love we have the six of wands a world card the ace of cups bottom of the deck is a few five of cups though so this new person the energy there is definitely there are very good chances of somebody coming towards you totally new person totally new energy so this person is freshly coming out of a uh, breakup separation divorce or something that they just ended very very just recently maybe 6 days 6 months or maximum 6 weeks sorry yeah maximum 6 6 weeks and minimum 6 days so this person is coming towards you by ending a chapter in their life with somebody else it's not because of you they ended the chapter it's because they ended a chapter with somebody else now they ha they are free to go towards uh, new people new energies and this person is coming towards you so this is a new person this is a new energy that's ending things with somebody closing a chapter in their life and heading towards you okay so this person is going to be still very much in guilt or pain or regret of uh, about whatever was happening in their previous connection so this person and you are not going to uh, be in love just like that it's going to develop with time you guys are sharing some same kind of pain uh, uh, like uh, from somewhere and that is how you guys are going to connect so you guys are going to connect on emotional level first and then it's going to go become something deeper and deeper with coming time it's like slow and study going slow and study is uh, going to win the race in this case okay let's see for those of you who are waiting for a past person or past energy to come back around what are your energies what are your energies for past person past energy to come back around okay honey let's see we have the ace of swords the eight of cups and the knight of cups so there is somebody who will try to apologize to you who will try to uh, you know offer you some kind of uh, emotional apology emotional message emotional communication but they are going to tell you exactly why they left you at the first place exactly what was happening in their life when they left you what was their intention what was their mindset and this person is coming towards you with some kind of again emotional message communication apology that can lead to some kind of connection I don't say full on reconciliation as of now, but I do see somebody trying to connect with you and uh, clear the air with you in some way so that you guys uh, can reconnect at least with the, at least on a harmonious kind of a level, at least on a friendship kind of a level with each other. So somebody from your past is, yes, there are chances of coming back around, having our emotional communication, emo having emotional, um, you know, uh, energy exchange. But I don't see full on reconciliation as of now. Yeah. So this is energy for a pa for, from a past person, past connection. So the guidance for you is six of swords. Keep moving ahead. Keep moving on towards karma water and leave the past baggages in the past. If you are going to, you know, um, uh, what what should I say? If you are going to, let's say, uh, project your energy on new person, new connection, new things, then you are going to get the same results as you got in the past. So basically leaving the past baggages, past trauma, past pain behind is the only solution for you to start a clean chapter in your love and relationship area whether it's with the past person or new person or new energy doesn't matter okay honey so let's move on to scorpio so let's start scorpio what is coming towards you who's coming towards you in love 
till the end of October 2024 for Scorpio singles for new love. What are your energies for new love? New lover. Hero font, five of pentacles, two of pentacles, and then we have the queen, queen of swords. So okay, okay. Somebody who is not going to be sure about you. Somebody who is going to be on and off, in and out of your life, and someone who is coming out of a marriage and or they don't believe in marriage. You know. So according to them, marriage is bullshit. Marriage is marriage long term commitment and or something long term is not their cup of tea. So this is basically somebody who is going to be like yeah. keeping you on their uh, like option list keeping you keep, keeping you in their option list like okay we are uh, uh, you are uh, in my list and then they are going to like connect with other people as well they are going to deal with other people as well okay basically bullshit <laughs> basically this person this energy this new person new energy is going to be there for you but they are not going to they going to be there there for you it's like uh, it's like yeah whenever they whenever you might be in this energy for okay, let's talk to this person or let's uh, uh you know uh, get to know about them they are going to be like uh, vanishing like a ghost from time to time so and this person is not having any kind of intention of getting married getting settled or getting or having a long term partnership kind of a deal so this kind of person this kind of energy is going to be around the corner for you guys in terms of new love in terms of new relationship if you are uh, uh, willing to open up to this kind of energy completely up to you but this person is somebody who uh, is going to make sure that you know that they are not interested in something long term or something uh, more than friendship kind of a deal or maybe friends with benefits kind of a deal so yeah now this is completely up to you if you want to uh, connect with this person go ahead or cut this person out of your life the moment they are going to enter in your life and then at the moment you are going to realize that this is not your person right let's see for those of you who are waiting for a past person past energy to come back around we have the 7 of wands the moon card and the page of wands yeah the past person past energy is kind of keeping themselves at a distance from you uh deliberately because they think even if they are going to be friend with you there is nothing uh, good coming out of the situation so it's better for them to keep you blocked or keep themselves blocked in the situation because they are scared to even remain friends with you because they know that this is are going to end up in disaster again and again and again till you guys are going to end this chapter completely from both the sides so if you are waiting for a past person past energy to come back around i don't see them coming back to you um even if they are going to come back around they are not going to stick around because according to them this is a never ending cycle of failure and it's never going to succeed so even if they are coming back to you it's not going to last long so the guidance is simple and plain self love self care self healing and being high in vibration so that you can attract those kind of people those kind of energies towards you that are good for you uh on on a you know a uh, higher level of uh, vibra vibrations okay so raise your vibrations raise your self love raise your self feeling raise your self care and then you will be able to connect with the right kind of person right kind of personality that's actually good for you good for your soul and good for your energies hmm. okay let's uh, move on to sagittarius we have 33 20 sagis okay sagittarius sun moon venus rising let's see what's coming towards you till the end of october 2024 in your love and relationship area for sagittarius single singles we have the four of cups the seven of pentacles the knight of wands bottom of the deck is the four of swords So this is somebody who's coming towards you because they don't have any other option in their life, any other good option in their life. Let me um, reframe it. Okay, so it's like this person is waiting, uh, waiting and wait, waiting and waiting for somebody to enter in their life uh, the way they want. Like the kind of person, the kind of energy they're waiting for, they're not getting it from anybody. So when they are going to see you, you are going to match up with some kind of some kind of, some criteria or some. Uh, energies that they are waiting for then and they are going to end up connecting with you so i don't say this person is going to be like oh my god sagittarius is the love of my life or this is somebody i was waiting for the uh, whole life no it's not like that because they're not able to find something better or someone better they are going to be like okay let's start with sagittarius and let's see where things can go between me and sagittarius because even if they are not go checking all my boxes at least they are uh, like uh, uh, checking one or two out of maybe 10 or 15 yeah so it's like a half hearted attempt of somebody getting bored because they don't have a good option or good options around them so they might connect with you 
because they're getting bored or because they are feeling like, okay, let's see with the queries only if I don't have anything or anyone else to deal with. I don't think you are going to be happy about it though. Let's see if you are waiting for a past person or past energy to come back around. What are your energies for that? We have the Ten of Cups, the Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Fantastic. So somebody from your past might come back to you for marriage commitment and or something long term on the table. If you are going to take this offer or not, I don't uh, uh, know about it because it's a free will kind of energy at play here. Because we are humans and we have a free will, we can decide, we can uh, do whatever the fuck we want to do. So this is somebody from your past who is going to be willing to get married to you and get settled with you. And for some reason I'm getting, if you will not be able to say yes to them, they are going to move on. If they are, if they are wanting something, whatever they are going to want, basically marriage commitment, something long term they are looking forward to have. If you will not be able to provide them this kind of energy, they are going to say goodbye to you at that moment only. They will be like, okay, if you are not ready to give me something stable on the table, something long term, I am sorry, I have to say goodbye to you because this is what I'm looking forward to have. So somebody from your past might show up like back in your energies, but they they might be wanting something very solid, very committed or something stable on the table that you might or might not be able to give them. So according to your energies, like you can say yes or no, but there, there, there are good, quite good chances. Hmm? The guidance for you, Queen of Pentacles. So be in a very, very stable, calm and composed uh, state of mind, state of energy. Then make up your choices and your decisions accordingly. If you are going to make your mind or make your choices in any kind of rush or hurry or restlessness, guess what? You are going to like invite disaster in your love and relationship area uh, yourself. Nobody else is uh, to blame here because if you are going to take any kind of decisions in your life, uh, whether it's like love or relationship, whether it's something else, and in a restless way, in a very... Um, not in a very casual kind of a way and you're expecting the results to come out as good you are the one to blame here honey okay so let's move on to Cappy's capricorn hmm what we have 37 20 okay let's see capricorn what's coming towards capricorn in their love and relationship area for the month of October 2024, from today till the end of October. Hmm. For singles, for new love, let's see what are your energies. We have the World card, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Hangman. So this is somebody who's straight away coming from something, like they're ending a chapter in, in their life. They are ending. There is a completion of a cycle in their life, and they're walking away from something on someone for good. And this person is straight away going to have uh, some kind of energy of, I want uh, something long term, uh, I want some kind of marriage kind of a deal with you, Capricorn, are you ready to give me that? So somebody is going to straight away tell you that they're interested in marriage and or long term kind of a deal. If you are not able to give that uh, to them, it's time to say goodbye there and then, there and then, then only. And this person may not, you know, entertain you after that if you're going to soon say no to their plan or their strategy or their whatever they are having on the table for you guys. So it's basically somebody who is coming out of a relationship who's uh, on the verge of a completion of a cycle in their life, in their love and relationship area and they want something stable on the table, they want something long term and if you are ready to give it to them, they are, they are very happy to go proceed with you, otherwise they are like nope, goodbye, I don't want anything, you know. This person doesn't want to get stuck on something or someone less than that they deserve or that they want in their life. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's see if you are waiting for a past person or past energy to come back around. What are your energies for that? We have the Knight of Wands, the Justice and the Five of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, honey. It's like... Um, Somebody from your past will try to give you explanation about whatever happened between you and them. Maybe this person cheated on you or they did, they did something behind your back that uh, because of that the whole connection went south and now this person is going to clear the air with you and now this person will try to do justice with you, just justice with the situation. They will uh, try to at least explain like whatever they did with you was not their intention or they were not uh, meaning to hurt you or harm you or they didn't meant to you know uh, like cheat on you or whatever they did 
was not their plan but they did it because of uh, whatever reason they're going to give you so you can expect some kind of communication some kind of explanation from a past person for their infidelity or for their uh, whatever they did with you and then it's like uh, it is going to be your choice if you want to uh, keep this connection keep this uh, person or this situation in your life or not but I don't see full-on reconciliation. I don't see full-fledged connection or relationship with the past person, past energy. But I do see somebody explaining to the other person here like for uh, uh, about whatever they did and whatever happened. And now they want to just clear the air, balance out the situation between new, two, two energies. And then they want to proceed further accordingly. Hmm. Guidance for you guys, Queen of Pentacles, get your shit together. Get your act together, Capricorn. Don't rely on anything or anyone to make you happy or to make your life comfortable because no one is responsible for your happiness. Uh, same way, no one is responsible for your sadness. It was your choice. It was your decision. Whatever you did was your own decision, was your own choice. Now you have to understand that you have to keep yourself happy. You are responsible for everything that you are facing, everything you are feeling uh, in your love and relationship area. Not the other person, not the other way around, okay? Stop blaming other people, other energies for the or for the disaster that you created yourself. I might sound harsh, but this is the reality. Hmm? So from the victim mode, you have to go in this uh, being the in charge of your life mode, okay? Being the emperor of your life mode. Now let's move on to Aqua. Aquarius. 4125, I guess. Yeah. So hi, dear Aquarius. Let's see what's coming towards Aquarius singles in their love and relationship area for the rest of the month of October 2024 from today till the end of this month, 2024 October. Let's see. Singles, new love. In terms of new love, we have the two of wands, the ace of swords, the nine of wands. Bottom of the deck is the five of swords. Okay. So, okay, this is somebody who is going to tell you very, very honestly that they have other options too that they are dealing with. Okay, now either they are going to tell you very directly and honestly at that time that they are going to meet you or when they are going to realize or when they are going to feel that you are a very sensitive person and you are not a one, the one to play around, then they are going to tell you that they have something else or someone else also going in the background that they are dealing with and they will not be able to give you a full-fledged relationship or something stable as of now, maybe later on. So this is someone who's going to make sure that they are going to tell you that they are dealing with something else or someone else also behind the scenes and they might not be able to give you a full-fledged full kind of a connection or relationship that you deserve. So yeah and uh, it's like somebody is going to be a very egoistic kind of a person or uh, somebody who plays a lot of mind games. There are very good chances that this person will try to manipulate you in some way so that they can keep you around uh, like them so they might uh, like tell you stories that might not be entirely true but it can keep you around for in some way bullshit manipulation so honey this kind of person this kind of personality or energy is uh, going to enter in your life now if it's completely up to you if you go, if you are going to entertain it or if you're going to say no to it it's completely up to it okay up to you i'm feeling very sleepy so one more sign and we're good to go Let's see, for those of you who are still waiting for a past person or past energy or past connection to come back around. So we have the Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is a page of four. So somebody from your past will show up in your life, but they're not single. They're not entirely single. They're not entirely available. They have other options too. It's not about only one other option. It's about all, like a lot of other options too that they're going to deal with, that they're going to keep open along with you. It's like, Pis uh, it's like Aquarius, this person will try to come back around or connect with you just for the sake of the connection that you guys used to share at some point of time. Now, this person is not entirely available for you only. They have other option or other options too, more than two in their life that they're dealing with that they might or might not tell you. Simple. So even if somebody from your past is going to show up and you might feel like happy, wow, my God, this person is coming back and they are with me now and this and that. I don't see this person entirely being honest with you about the people or the situations that they're dealing with behind your back. So beware of these kind of energies. Otherwise, I do see somebody coming towards you. If you are happy about it, that's completely up to you, honey. Yeah. Guidance for you, page of wands. Take things really very, very, very slow. Whether it's a past person, past energy coming back around or it's a new person, new energy coming towards you, okay? Taking, keeping things on a friendship kind of a level for at least one month or two is highly, highly recommended in order for you to understand the dynamics of that situation completely and then move with caution, move with uh, 
like clarity move with understanding instead of being in the you know dark and just uh, you know trying to find out the uh, gold in the dark it's not going to happen like that yeah honey hmm. now moving on to pisces last sign i'm going to sleep like a baby after this see my sleepy eyes are tired eyes here yeah. i have to travel tomorrow in the morning it's first october 2024 i'm making this video at 10 uh, 4 uh, pm at night and tomorrow to october 2024 i'm going to osho mahasana and i have a flight from delhi airport uh, at 6 30 i guess in the morning so it's going to be a tough journey long journey so wish me luck so 45 30 yeah move on to pisces let's see for pisces singles and moon Venus rising what's coming towards you in love till the end of october 2024 in terms of new love new relationship We have the strength, the knight of pentacles, the hierophant, bottom of the deck is the queen of swords. So this is someone who uh, is around you, who likes you, but they are going to sabotage this connection, sabotage this connection as long as they can. And when they will not be able to handle this energy of okay, sabotaging it furthermore, then they are going to open up to you slowly but surely. So, surely, I'm sorry about this, this burp. <laughs> So it's like somebody is having a liking towards you, not just liking, they have this energy of having, feeling some kind of higher level of commitment kind of energy between you and them, okay. So this is someone who is going to try their best to sabotage this connection or sabotage this, their feelings as long as they can and then when they, when they will not be able to do it anymore, I think by the end of this month, somebody is going to open up to you and they're going to tell you that they're going, that they're feeling a, some kind of spiritual connection between you and them, some kind of spiritual kind of a deal between you and them, right? Now, this is going to be very cold and often detached kind of person. So, this is somebody who might uh, be rude and cold and off towards you because they like you. This is highly, highly stupid. When people do that, I hate those kind of people. When you like somebody, you behave like an asshole towards them. This is the highest level of disrespect towards your own liking. But some people do that. So this is the same kind of energy. They are going to like you, but they are going to behave like the rudest person on earth because they don't know how to express or they don't know how to handle their emotions. <laughs> but by the end of this month, this is somebody who's going to open up to you and tell you they were doing all this because they were feeling a spiritual like spiritual kind of connection between you and them. Bullshit kind of a person. What is wrong with people? Anyway, let's see. For those of you who are waiting for a past person, past energy to come back around, what are your energies for that person, that energy? We have the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. See, the thing is that somebody will show a lot of interest in you, okay, in the beginning of a situation. Um, it's like putting in the effort and energy from their side as much as uh, they can to start a connection between you and them. And then this connection is going to stop. It's like somebody putting in the effort and energy into something till they get it. And once they get it, they are going to be relaxed. They are going to take it for granted. So this is somebody is, is like a, uh, somebody from your past will start, will connect with you. They will start working on this connection between you and them. And then they will stop it again. They are going to be like, nope, I can't put in uh, any, or, or any more effort in the situation. Because either they are going to be very relaxed or they are going to be feeling like uh, taking you for granted or something, they're going to be like, okay, I got Pisces. I don't have to do anything more now. So let's uh, play games with Pisces and let's pull back the energies and uh, let's keep them wondering what the hell went wrong in the situation. Typical narcissistic tendencies of getting something that uh, somebody, uh, the, getting somebody till they will get it. And uh, when once they get it, they don't even care about that person or that energy anymore. So this is the kind of energy I'm picking towards you from a past person past energy now it's it's like i don't like it but if you want it you can definitely go ahead with it yeah so tendency of start, stopping starting a connection and then stopping it and playing like a ghost and vanishing in thin air and not even giving you a proper explanation of why they did what they did my goodness i got stuck like what the hell why 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 people do that why disgust me Anyways, the guidance here is the seven of swords. So somebody will try to play hide and seek with, seek with you. Now it's completely and entirely up to you if you are going to uh, play the game with them or you are going to like uh, just get out of this game and never look back. 
so i guess this is about the past person uh, like uh, that's coming towards you somebody will try to pretend something that they are not and you will intuitively know about it pisces okay your intuition is kind of going to guide you that this person or this situation is not actually uh, what the other person is showing it to be this is something totally different or this is something or someone that's kind of trying to play games with you because they feel you are too naive to understand their games especially the past person past energy so it's completely completely and entirely up to you if you are again if you are going to play this game with them or you are going to say goodbye to them as soon as you are going to uh, understand their games and understand their tricks completely up to you yeah so this is the guidance here so this is what i have for you guys hope this helps i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste when this uh, a video is going to be premiering today i will be in osho masana i will be, uh, keep making on short videos uh, or, or things like that and keep on updating you guys about the uh, process from time to time if i can if i could otherwise i will do it uh, after i will reach to mumbai my mumbai house then we will uh, start doing things regularly okay so love you all so much god bless you lots of love and lots of healings i'll see you soon bye bye take care god bless you namaste